Generally in science we talk about wavelength, which would be measured in feet or meters for surfing waves. However, measuring the ocean comes with many challenges, and so we use the gap in time between two waves, normally measured in seconds, as a substitute. This is known as the swell period. The gap between the waves gives us a much better indication of how much power is contained within the wave itself, as much like an iceberg, the majority is often hidden below the ocean surface. Wave energy travels in an orbital path similar to a rolling ball, and measuring the gap between the waves essentially allows us to measure the diameter of that ball, and by doing so, determine the depth of the energy. Like the swell height, this number is also an average, although this time the full range and not just the top third, so we can expect to see some variation to what is listed on the report. Swell periods generally range from 5 seconds for a low energy wave to 25 seconds for those perfect storm purple blobs we sometimes see in news reports, and this correlates with wavelengths between 40 and 900 meters in the deep ocean. As swell period grows, the area of our circle and the amount of energy it contains expands exponentially. These more powerful waves also travel much faster through the ocean, so that the largest waves from a particular storm normally arrive at the beach first, which is why conditions and wave size can often change in just a few hours. Finally, the swell direction. This is a compass direction, and depending on your forecast, this will be given in either degrees, cardinal, or intercardinal directions, or maybe just be an arrow. With arrows, north is always up, and swell direction is always given as where the swell is coming from, rather than where it is going. So a swell that is traveling from southwest to northeast is listed as SW, or 225 degrees. Waves are affected by the angle and geography of the coastline, and can slow or bend from drag when in contact with shallower waters. Therefore, the more directly a swell lines up with the beach, the more likely it is to arrive with all its energy intact, and the bigger and more powerful the waves are likely to be. Bigger and more powerful doesn't always mean better, Predicting the characteristics of a wave that has traveled a thousand miles with greatly changing conditions is a very complicated science. So predicting when or what kind of wave will finally arrive at your particular beach with a reasonable accuracy is a big ask of forecasting companies. So having a personal understanding of your coastline and conditions can greatly improve your chance of getting out of bed on the right day.